I walked into a hotel. Walked into the hotel, a man that I had never met in my life ran up to me. I was just going in to check in, and uh, I think I'll tell the city, it was Washington, D.C. We were there really to meet the President of the United States. We were to meet him and did meet him uh, about two hours later with about four or five, six, seven other preachers. And as I was going into the hotel to check in, this, this man, nicely dressed, saw me and ran. He didn't, he didn't walk, he, he just forgot all dignity, decorum, and ran. I didn't know who in the world he was, I'd never seen him in my life. He threw his arms around me. And I mean, he was blubbering, he was, he was, he was crying through his tears, I, I, I'm laughing through his tears. And finally, when he got through, he was speaking in tongues all at the same time. When he got through, this is what he told me. The telecast had played a major part in what Jesus had done for him, but that's insignificant at the moment. One of the most powerful men in the world was his godfather. Was there at his christening when he was christened in the uh, I think it was Episcopalian or Presbyterian Church, whichever. One of the most powerful men in the world. If I called his name, everything here, everything listening would, would know instantly who I'm talking about. His father was also one of the most powerful men in the armed forces in this country, the USA. I meant as high as you could get. And he told me, he said, Brother Swagger, I don't know, I think it was four years ago, three years, five years, whatever it was. He says, I was a hopeless drug addict. Graduate from one of the most prestigious universities in the nation. And he said, I went, I went to this man. Well, I guess I can tell this part. I won't call any names. One of the former presidents of the United States and told him, he said, I'm going down the tubes. I don't know what to do. I'm dying. I'm on the hard stuff and I can't quit. I've got hell in my heart and it's hopeless. My home is gone, my family is gone, everything is gone. And the former president of the United States said, Son, I'm sorry. I can't help you. He joined several churches, he told me. He said, I would walk up, Brother Swagger, and I would do what they said do. He said, I joined several different ones, searching, looking, seeking, trying to find the moving of the waters but I found nothing. Just wandering aimlessly, said I drifted down to a southern state, was driving in this city, every nerve in my body screaming for a fix. Saw a little church that it wasn't much, just plain wasn't much. A little old building that was kind of the worst for wear. The parking lot wasn't even paved, just a little old gravel lot. And he said, I drove up, I saw a man standing out there, drove up on the lot, got out of my car, walked over and introduced myself. Here I was, one of the, one of the former presidents of the United States of America was my godfather. My father, flesh and blood father, was one of the most powerful men in the world. And here I was dying on drugs. And he said, I said, sir, would the minister be in? And the man smiled and said, yes, I'm the preacher. He said, well, I'm going to tell you. And he told 
presidents, generals, admirals, psychologists, psychiatrists, doctors, scientists, priests, preachers. He said, I'm a drug addict. I'm dying. I don't have long. And this thing is a church here, I guess. Yes, it is. Can you help me? He said that all referred me to the chemical dependency unit, all the churches had. He said every last one of them had referred me to a psychologist or a chemical dependency unit in some major hospital. But he said something happened on that unpaved parking lot Standing beside my car, the man smiled and said, Son, you've come to the right place. <laughs> Hallelujah! 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 Said, Son, come on in. Walked into the church. He said, There's about five or six men and women in there praying. He said, I've never heard praying like that in my life. All the churches he said I'd been to all of my life, they prayed in some big, Dear Father, we approach thee, divine maker. He said, my Lord, I'd never heard anything like it. Said they were saying, hallelujah, praise the Lord, glory to God, we love you, Jesus. And he said, when I walked in, I didn't understand it, but I said, son, you're hitting pay dirt. You're hitting pay dirt. He said, the one with me told the others he's on drugs. Didn't scare them either. So they talked to me a few minutes, and I don't really remember what they said, but I remember what happened next said that one with me reached out and slapped me on the head and said in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah and when he said that hell shook and demons trembled and powers of darkness rolled away Are you listening to me, church? Are you listening to me, church? Hell couldn't care less about your stained glass windows. But when you say, in the name of Jesus, <laughs> in the name I don't care if you're Catholic I don't care if you're Methodist I don't care if you're Nazarene I don't care if you're Pentecostal I don't care if you're Presbyterian I don't care if you're a sinner I don't care if you're a doper when you say in the name of Jesus he said Jimmy Swagger I have shot heroin and I've never I've never tasted of any myself, me, me. I've never tasted of any alcohol in my life. I don't know what it tastes like. I've never taken any mind-altering drugs in my life. Never. I don't know what it feels like, but the man said, and they say, heroin has a charge to it that's like nothing else. But he said, when he said that, something hit me that made heroin seem like a cup of muddy Mississippi River water. He said, I couldn't have stood up. He said, I couldn't have stood on my feet. It had, it had been 20 men holding me up. He said, I fell like a pole axe had hit me under the power of Almighty God. He had found the moving of the water. He said, I don't know how long I laid there, but when I came up, I came up saved by the blood of Jesus. <laughs> he said, and this Episcopalian was speaking in some kind of foreign language that 
I had never heard before in my life baptized in the Holy Ghost. And right there in the hotel, that big swank Washington, D.C. hotel, he starts to speak in tongues. Out loud. Everybody hearing him. <laughs> Lord. He said, I was delivered from alcohol. I was delivered from drugs. Instantly. He said, I mean instantly. He said, I don't mean I tapered off. He said, I mean instantly. So I came back, came back home, a, a changed man, whole. I've, I've looked at the impotent man, the certain man, and now the whole man. He said, I was a whole man. He said, naturally, I went to my parents, but he said, I went to the former president of the United States. And I, when he got to that, I got, I got very interested because I wanted to know what he said to him. I said, what did you tell him? He said, I told him just what I told you. Strung out on drugs, lost, hopeless, bound, going to hell, dying. Doctor said it's hopeless. Told him how I went into the church. <laughs> told him how that wild bunch was hollering hallelujah. <laughs> told him how that that preacher zapped me on the head and said in the name of Jesus told him about it. told him just like it happened told him how I said whack on the floor <laughs> told him how I came up saved filled with the Holy Ghost told him about speaking in tongues he said what's that told him about deliverance and I said and this was the part I was really interested in I said what did he say to you Here was a man that could speak the word when he was president and the mightiest armies in the world would march. I said, what did he say to you when you told him? He said, Brother Swagger, his eyes filled up with tears. And he said, I know something has happened to you. Would you pray for me? Lord? Oh, I've started to follow Jesus, have you? Yes, I've started to follow Jesus. Yes, I've started to follow Jesus. I won't turn back. I won't turn back. Take this whole world. <laughs> but give me Jesus take this whole world but give me Jesus take this whole world but give me Jesus I the hungry, the sick, the suffering, the sore, those that are bound, those that are lost, those that are impotent, those that are helpless, those that are drifting. I pray for them wherever tonight they may be. Bring them home. Let the light shine in the window and bring them home 
dear God. Your heads are bowed, your eyes are closed. Let me tell you this. I sense the presence of God tonight as strongly as I've ever felt it or sensed it. And I'm telling you, he's reaching out for you because he loves you. How many in this Colosseum? You would slip up your hand, Jimmy Swaggart, I'm not living right. I'm going wrong. I need help and I'm coming home. Let me see that hand. Now I want everyone to stand, please. Everybody stand. Everyone standing. Thomas and Marianne and and uh, Janet, all of them are going to sing. There's room at the cross for you. And as they sing it, God the Holy Ghost is going to tell you there's a place for you. There's room. still coming and we'll wait for you we'll wait all night long as long as you keep coming how can I tell you by television how much God loves you I want to say that real clear he loves you so much I mean that he means it. He has a changed life for you. A blessed hope. Paid in full. Paid in full. I want you to look at Brother Swagger now, each one of you, please. just a few moments time the same Jesus Christ that healed a crippled man 2,000 years ago is going to heal you a miracle of redemption is going to take place within your heart and within your life it will be so wonderful that even though earth immediately may take little notice of it, heaven will shout. Angels will shout. Would you bow your heads and close your eyes? Now this is it. This is it. Let us pray. Repeat it out loud after me and believe it with all of your heart. Dear God in heaven. Dear God in heaven. 
I'm a lost sinner. I'm a lost sinner. I need help. I need help. I come to thee. I come to thee. I'm tired of sin. I'm tired of sin. Disobedience. Disobedience. And rebellion. And rebellion. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Cleanse me and wash me. Cleanse me and wash me. With your precious blood. With your precious blood. From all unrighteousness. From all unrighteousness. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10. With my mouth. With my mouth. I confess, I confess the Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus. In my heart. In my heart. I believe. I believe that God raised Jesus. That God raised Jesus from the dead. From the dead. And he is alive. And he is alive. Right now. Right now. Before heaven and earth. Before heaven and earth. I accept Jesus Christ. I accept Jesus Christ as my own personal Savior. As my own personal Savior. And according to His Word. And according to His Word. Which I believe. Which I believe. I am washed. I am washed. I am cleansed. I am cleansed. I am sanctified. I am sanctified. I am justified. I am justified. I am saved. I am saved. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to believe right now that hundreds of thousands of you are going to write me. And I want to send you back by return mail. No charge. Absolutely free. No catch to it. This little book bears a new name written down in glory. If you've come to Jesus... You've accepted him as your personal savior. I want to give this to you. It'll help you. It'll show you how to get started. And congratulations. You found the answer. You found the Lord. Praise God.